IRS alert, $3,200 final stimulus checks for Social Security recipients set to land in banks tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to another video from MoneyPro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and latest news on multiple U.S. financial aid programs. The IRS has just announced a surprising final round of stimulus checks, specifically targeting Social Security recipients. That's right, a whopping $3,200 payment could be hitting bank accounts as soon as tomorrow. Now, I know what you're thinking didn't we already have several rounds of stimulus checks? You're absolutely right. Let's quickly recap. The first round in 2020 provided up to $12 per eligible adult. The second round in late 2020 slash early 2021 offered $600 per person. The third round in 2021, part of the American Rescue Plan, gave eligible individuals up to $14. This new payment is separate from those previous rounds and is specifically targeted at Social Security recipients, including those on retirement benefits, disability, SSDI, and Supplemental Security Income, SSI. Who qualifies for the $3,200 payment? Now, let's get to the million-dollar question or should I say, the $3,200 question, who exactly qualifies for this payment? According to the IRS announcement, you must be a current Social Security benefit recipient. This includes Retirees on Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, Beneficiaries Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Recipients Railroad Retirement Board Beneficiaries Income Limits Apply, Similar to Previous Stimulus Checks Single Filers with Adjusted Gross Income Up to $75,000 Head of household filers with AGI up to $112,500. Married couples filing jointly with AGI up to $150,000. You must have a valid social security number. You cannot be claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax return. It's important to note that these criteria are subject to final confirmation from the IRS, so keep an eye out for any updates or clarifications in the coming days. Why this payment now? You might be wondering, why is this happening now? There are a few key factors at play. Persistent inflation, despite efforts to curb rising prices, many Americans, especially those on fixed incomes like Social Security, continue to struggle with the increased cost of living. Healthcare costs, the ongoing pandemic has highlighted the financial vulnerability of many older Americans and those with disabilities when it comes to healthcare expenses. Economic recovery gaps, while some sectors of the economy have rebounded, others continue to lag, and many individuals haven't fully recovered from the economic impact of the pandemic. Political pressure, with midterm elections on the horizon, there's been increased focus on providing tangible economic relief to voters, particularly those in vulnerable demographics. Budget surplus, unexpected tax revenues and unspent funds from previous relief packages have provided an opportunity for this targeted stimulus. Remember, I'm not here to debate the politics of this decision, but rather to provide you with the facts and context surrounding this significant development. How and when will payments be distributed? Now, let's talk about the logistics. How will you get your hands on this $3,200 payment? The IRS has outlined the following distribution plan. Direct deposits, if you've previously received Social Security benefits or past stimulus payments via direct deposit, you're in luck. The IRS will use the banking information they have on file to send your payment. These direct deposits could start hitting accounts as soon as tomorrow. Paper checks, for those without direct deposit information on file, 
the IRS will mail physical checks. This process may take a bit longer, with checks expected to start going out within the next one two weeks. EIP cards, in some cases, the payment may be sent in the form of an economic impact payment, EIP, debit card. These will be mailed to the address the IRS has on file. Automatic process, the great news is that for most eligible recipients, this will be an automatic process. You won't need to take any action to receive your payment if you're already in the system as a social security beneficiary. Get My Payment Tool, the IRS is expected to reactivate its Get My Payment Tool on their website, allowing you to track the status of your $3,200 payment. What should you do with the money? While how you use this money is entirely up to you, here are some suggestions to consider. Cover essential expenses, if you're struggling with basic needs like food, housing, or utilities, prioritize these necessities. Pay down debt, if you've accumulated debt, especially high-interest credit card debt, this could be an opportunity to reduce your financial burden. Build an emergency fund, if you don't already have one, consider setting aside some or all of this money for unexpected future expenses. Invest in your health, whether it's catching up on medical checkups, purchasing needed medical equipment, or improving your diet, investing in your health can pay dividends. Home improvements, for homeowners, consider necessary repairs or modifications that could improve your quality of life or your home's value. Support local businesses, if you're in a position to do so, spending some of this money at local businesses can help support your community's economy. Remember, this is a significant sum of money, and it's wise to take some time to plan how best to use it for your individual situation. Potential scams to watch out for. Unfortunately, wherever there's money involved, scammers aren't far behind. Here are some red flags to watch out for. Unsolicited calls or emails, the IRS will not call, email, or text you about your stimulus payment. Be wary of any unsolicited communications claiming to be from the IRS. Requests for personal information, never give out personal details like your social security number, bank account information, or credit card numbers to anyone claiming to be helping you get your stimulus payment. Promises to expedite your payment, no one can speed up your payment. Be suspicious of anyone offering to get your money to you faster for a fee. Fake checks, if you receive a check that looks suspicious or for an odd amount, verify its authenticity before depositing it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.